Welcome to English class. Today I am going to teach you English of a standard age. Section 1. The sisterhood of restless. At the first part uh, we already studied it. That is uh, about the story of a uh, Mahavir Singh Bhagat. He gave training or a coach of uh, his daughters of uh, Gita and uh, Pabita. Then after this what happened? Along with the Bhagat brothers and Sankshi Malik, the bronze medal winner at a Rio Olympics in 2016, young girls in the state are increasingly taking to sports as evidenced by the throne, the small wrestling center, Mahavar built on his land to complete with a running track. And uh, along with this uh, Bhag uh, Bhagat uh, sisters, Sakshi Malige, she got uh, bronze medal in the Rio, D, uh, Rio Olympics in 2016. And uh, this, uh, the throng hall, throng here means, what is the meaning of throng? Crowded people. And uh, Mahavir Singh also built a uh, uh, Akharas, Akharas means training hard to, for training his uh, girls for wrestling. When I started training my daughters, there weren't any Akharas that allowed girls inside. At that time, Akharas were uh, for men, not for women. Uh, so, as a, for, uh, for this, he built uh, one Akharas to train his daughters. Now there must be at least 50 Akharas that train girls, he says. He says that uh, nowadays uh, in Haryana there are about 50 Akharas to training uh, for girls. In the state with the lowest sex ratio in the country, uh, where uh, the women have a different points being banned from using cell phones and wearing jeans, the sight of girls wrestling and excelling, at the sports has started social change. At that time, in the state of Haryana, the, there was a lowest sex ratio for women because sex ratio here, here means the ratio of a male to female. Female number is very less comparing to this uh, men. And uh, at that time, women were, no, uh, were banned to use of a cell phone or wearing jeans. And uh, they did not like girls at that time time in the state like uh, Haryana and uh, they are cow that is uh, uh, Mahavir's wife first uh, said that uh, from the time uh, my daughter started wrestling to the present I can see a change uh, she says that uh, there was a great change after his daughter's training the uh, wrestling then but it is not a majority that has changed but a majority people uh, did not change nowadays also she says that uh, Many still wish a boy to be born and regard the birth of girl in their family as a burden. Many people uh, like bo um, boys and did, they did not like girls because uh, girls were considered as a burden for their family. That is, uh, she says that uh, she peeks into the wrestling halls uh, and she says that uh, uh, most of the people at that time considered a girl as a burden. Then, nine-year-old Neha Sangfan, the daughter of Balali Sarpanch, Amit Kumar Sangfan, has been training with the Mahavir for two years. Uh, that is uh, uh, Amit Kumar uh, Sangfan, that was the Balali Sarpanch. His daughter's name is uh, Neha Sangfan. And uh, 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 this... Um, this uh, Sankhwan and uh, Mahavir gave a training to this uh, Neha Sankhwan. Sankhwan says that, says the fact that uh, young parents like him and encourage their daughters to train with the Mahavir Pahalwan. And uh, it's an indication of a change in the village. That is the Sankhwan and Mahavir singing at the training with an village alkar kishtavana. Pahalwan here means uh, wrestler. It is not for uh, just wrestling. That is wrestling or training. But girls in the village are getting jobs in the paramilitary forces and in aviation and government services because they wanted to get a job in the paramilitary forces. Paramilitary forces, 
the organization that help the official army of the country that is why they joined the wrestling because they wanted to get a job in the government services wrestling will open an opportunities for my daughter also he says that to join the wrestling they get a job in the government service that is why he like to join his daughters also in the uh, wrestling about 100 students including 30 girls train twice a day for up to 6 hours at the center and with the photos of Sakshi Malik, Olympic medalist Sushil Kumar and Yogeshwar Dutt hanging on the walls. About 100 students were training in this hall and from this 30 were girls and 6 hours training were given in this hall and with the, in this hall, the photos of uh, Sakshi Malik, uh, Sushil Kumar and uh, Yogeshwar that were hanging on the walls for what? For, the, for to get inspiration to the students, that's why. And most of the girls are aged up to 16 to 24 to participate in this uh, training. And uh, they live by themselves in the rock tuck, the single rented room. They lived in with their family in a single rented room. A typical uh, the st uh, day started at uh, 5 a.m. with the morning training section 6.30 to 9 a.m. The, the training uh, from morning also from morning session started from 6.30 to 9 a.m. And the evening uh, then after uh, the first session uh, they went to their room and uh, clean it and they participated in the cooking. And afternoon section started at 3.30 p.m. and uh, ended at 7 p.m. And Sunday is their only break uh, from the grilling schedule. Grilling schedule, do you hear, means very difficult and a tiring uh, training. That is Sunday, but it's a holy holiday with the luxury of the four few extra hours for a sleeper. They wanted to uh, get a uh, rest in this day and they also wanted to sleep four hours in this day only. That's why Sunday is a holiday. That's much about uh, today's class. You read this lesson and, uh, and understand its meaning. Okay.